Okay, um, so it is time to renovate or remake the skills section. Um, I have I've designed something something new. Um, you can see it on the screen right now. Um, I just want the skills section to look like this. But first, uh, before we do that, we have to change some strings. We have to change some JSON files, and we will be getting rid of most of the functionality in in the current skills section. All right, let's get started with with all of the changes. Well, I think the first thing should be to change um, the strings that we have, and all of those strings are in here in the personal skills JSON. Um, I put I so this is the benefit of putting everything in a JSON. Um, you can change, you can literally just change the strings in here, and then that they would just show up on your website. Um, now, like I'm actually very glad that I've instead of hard coding the strings, I put them inside inside JSON files. Okay, um, I'm just gonna copy over these things and I'm gonna paste them t over to my current website's um, strings, basically. So let's just start with that. That's the first one. Let's get the second one. That was the second one. Let's get the last one, oh, actually the third one, there will be another one, right? Okay, let's scroll towards the left and well, we're going to add something new, right? So let's just copy that and paste it over there. Okay. Oh, there's a typo. Applied. Let me fix that on here as well. Applied. Okay. All right. Cool. Let's go back to the website and let's see how that looks. Um, this is localhost 3000. This is what it used to look like before. And if you refresh the page, you're going to see we've managed to change the strings. Um, in the new design, we don't have any titles or subtitles, right? So we're going to remove these things. Um, and also, we're going to change the background color to be the same as um, the latest blog post section. So I think we, we can change the background color next. And I remember the background color being in um, home.module.com sas which is open in here um, this is the skills area background and i want to set this set it to be the same as the skills background so i'll just copy and paste the color over here and the background of this area is going to be white now okay um, before we start deleting titles i want to actually this area looks way better on white i should have made it white anyway um before before starting to delete to delete the titles, I'm going to assign the right images to the right elements. Um, so I've, I've imported four new files in here and I've designed these files in Adobe. I made those files in Adobe Illustrator. So um, all of the file names are picked up from this JSON file in here. And the first one is going to be the design one. So I'm just going to put design.svg in here. That's the name of this file. And for the next one, which is the front end one, I'm just gonna say front end.svg. And for this one, we're gonna say back end. And the last one is going to be test. Let's go back and you're gonna see these images change. All right, so those are the new images that we're gonna use. And now let's get rid of these titles. First thing we're going to do, we're going to remove those things from the component itself. We're receiving these things as an argument from the home page when these things, when this component, when a list of these components are being constructed by the map, map function. So if you go to the caller of this, you're going to see we have title, subtitle, um, and some other other stuff in here. We, we also have something called vital line. We're going to come to that. And we're going to remove title. Oh, yeah, title and subtitle, so, okay, we've got rid of those. We can remove these from here now, and let's remove the prop types. 
okay and let's remove them from the JSON themselves okay so title and subtitle yep those are the right ones let's get let's remove these ones too if you go back they should be gone all right they're gone and okay now let's come to this right align thing um on the previous design i wanted one of the images to be on the left and the next one to be on the right and the next one to be on the left but when i switch back to the mobile version all things should be stacked on top of their respective sections so if you resize the website front end is going to be on top of front end description rather than it being the other way around i mean the description being up here and then the image being down here okay I saw an error on the console, by the way. Let's see what that is. Each child in a list must have a unique key prop. Home.jsx 116. Let's take a look at line 116. What did I change there? Actually, we do have a... Oh, okay. Because I've removed the title. Oh, I see. We can... I don't know. We can use another key. I don't know. I guess we can use image alt uh, probably okay that's fine we're gonna get change that key anyway okay um, just consider consider that air to be gone um, it's not gonna be there anymore okay so we're gonna get rid of this right align thing and the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the right align from the JSON itself um, we can actually select all of them at once so control G should be selecting them why isn't it selecting them interesting okay let's all right keyboard shortcuts are acting weird command F okay well let's just use this instead wait what this is oh because these are false that's why all right whatever let's just remove this and comma in here all right, we can select these two and then, okay, that's done. And let's remove it from home.jsx. So that should be removed from there. Let's go back to the components. So right align should be removed from there as well. Um, and we can also remove it from here. And we can also remove it from there. Okay, now the, all of the images should be left aligned. Okay, good. Next thing, we can probably remove this thing because we're not using web pages or web P's or PNGs anymore. We don't have to differentiate between them. All of them are going to be SVGs, and that's going to be guaranteed because I'm making them SVGs. There are no PNGs on the homepage anymore whatsoever. We removed the last one. I'm going to remove these and instead of returning the uh, webp versus uh, png image link i'm just going to return the original image link in here so let's just copy this paste it in there and let's get rid of this and also let's get rid of this line clean it up all right that's way cleaner than before and you should see no changes whatsoever okay and we can get rid of this one now we can clean, clean this one up also i don't Think I'm passing a class name in here right this component doesn't need to accept a class name so I'm just gonna get rid of this thing in from here and just just to clean it up I mean there's there's no there's no actual purpose behind doing this change like it's not gonna affect anything for now but we can we can clean it so we will just clean it on while we are refactoring this component and making it to look very new all right and if you take a look here, we have we have a style for mobile websites, and I don't think we will need it anymore because I will not be using Bootstrap, and I will be um, like making my own custom styles for this component. This is going to be heavily custom made, so I'll I guess I'll just remove this, and we'll see what happens if we remove it. I don't think anything's gonna anything's gonna happen for now, and I don't remember why I put this here. Um, it's gonna look just fine, right? Yeah, it looks okay. Let's clean it even further. Okay. So, what do we have in here? We have two divs, one of them with an image and one of them with a paragraph. All right. I'm not sure if 
if we need the second div. We probably will need the first div because we want to align the image towards the right of the of its container. Okay, let me show you what I mean by that. This is probably going to be very, 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 <laughs> very difficult to explain. Uh, I don't think we need to use align self center anymore. Uh, padding Y four. We can probably get rid of this, and then we could use. Yeah, we could use some custom stuff again. Um, okay, it brought them all together. Right. First thing we're gonna do. We're gonna set a, a proper height for the images. Also, we're not going to be using Bootstrap column layouts anymore. So that's another change. Um, so what I'm going to do is I will get rid of this container thingy once once everything's figured out. But before we do that, let's first uh, get rid of this col column layout. I don't think I need to specify this anymore now that I've removed. Okay. Uh, all right, the images are gone. What did I do to the images? That's not what I meant to do. Okay. Maybe I can remove this. And is it back? All right. What just happened to the images? I hope I didn't. I I should that shouldn't have broken anything. All right. Let's just let's just go back. Let's just roll every every change back. Is this okay? All right. We still see the images. What happens if we remove this? We still see the images. That means we can remove them. We can remove this. What happens? What happens if you remove this? We still see the images. And what happens if you remove this? Images are gone, which means we have to set a width for this div. Okay. There's one more thing. Um, I I have a better way of writing this now. Um, instead of using a ternary operator you can just use and and in here Oops. okay and then you can get rid of this null and it's going to do absolutely the same thing and i can remove the parentheses and move it to the same line okay that looks even cleaner now we have to find a way to style this thing first thing you're going to do we have to set the width right um, i probably can get rid of this mx auto thingy okay good we probably will have to do lots of work, as always, as always. Uh, right, let's start by creating a, a style for, for the image div, because we want the image to be centered inside that div, and also we want the image aligned to the right. I don't know how to do that and aligning stuff in CSS is extremely challenging and I think we're just going to Google everything as we go along. If I can't figure something out, I'm just going to Google it. Um, I've, I've done some research before starting this stream, but I feel like it's going to it's going to go horribly wrong. Alright, what are we going to do? So this certainly needs to be a style and this play property should be flex because so I have I have a box right and inside this box um, there will also be an image and I want to set the height of this image because not all of the not all of the SVGs have um, have the same width because essentially they contain they they contain different number of characters. Like all of them are, let's say, if they if they are two hundred pixels, all of the, like the widths of each one of them are going to be different. Just because this one has three, four, five, six, seven characters, right? And this one has more, and this one has just five characters. Test, right? So, I mean, and obviously you can see it in here. Um, the width for all of these images are the same now, but the heights are different. Just that's because they have different number of characters obviously but the, the 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 case is i want their heights to be the same and i want their the widths to be different i have like this is probably going to be very challenging to achieve um and uh, we'll see how that goes we'll see how that goes i think we can do it why not okay if you can design it you can make it 
So we said display flex, but also um, I want to set um, a height for the images. And let's go with 90 pixels for now. I, um, I, I mean, 90 pixels should be a good value. Just trust me. Uh, and now we have to import it. Let me check how we imported styles again. Okay, each time I need to import a style, um, I copy this, right? Yeah, I'll just copy it I'm, rather than just writing it's easier to copy and paste. Okay. And we're going to copy this and just paste it there. And this is going to be image experience. Um, I think I need to put one more of these. Uh. So this sees the source. Do I need one more? Seriously? I don't think so, no. What well, how was it in this file before? I just want I just need the same format somehow. Um, so image experience touch sx and this was how it was imported. Oh obviously, yeah, components, it's under components. Okay, okay. That's fine. Now it's complaining that image div is not used and we're just going to give it here. Nope. Okay, okay. Okay, that did not fully work. Okay, with let's set a fixed width for this for now and let's remove this whatever that whatever you call it column layout. It seems like it seems like this style is not applying to the image, so if we do 190 pixels, I don't think that's going to change anything. See, it doesn't change the height of the image, so you probably will need to create another style for that. Um, height 90 pixels, and let's just get rid of this. And let's import the new style. And give it here. Okay. That may or may not work. Okay, that worked. So all of the images have a different width now. If you come here, this one has a width of 461.25. You can see it on top of it when I hover over it. And then this one has 271.13. Uh, okay. That's expected behavior. Now the problem becomes what happens when we resize the web page. These things need to go down with the size of the web page, right? But before before we solve that problem, um, I want to solve it for the desktop desktop version of the website. Uh, these this text needs to go towards the right of this div. So if you have two divs, one of them here, one of them there, um, I'm not sure if this needs to be a div, we might be able to clean it off and it's, yeah, it doesn't change anything. Cool. Um, you need to give this thing a fixed width. So let's say the width for this is 400 pixels for now. And let's say description, the width for this is 300 pixels. I'm not sure how that's going to look, but let's just try description. Okay, now that they're next to each other, what are we going to do now? All right, let's think. One thing that I want to do 100% is to align these items to the right. 
and then I'll show you what I mean in a minute. Actually, I can show you now. Um, so let's increase the width for the description to be 600 pixels and that's going to look a bit more clear. Right. I want to move these things to the right and the easiest way to do that is by using uh, Flexbox. So I was reading the documentation for this and then I stumbled upon this. This is how you right align all of the items inside your div. Um, so we're going to mark this div uh, to basically shift everything to the right. But I want to get rid of bootstrap. Um, I'm not going to use row and instead of row, uh, I'm just going to copy and paste what row does and just use it in my website somehow. Okay. So let's inspect this. What does row do? Okay, we are going to copy these things. Flex, display flex, flex wrap and wrap. Uh, content div, paste these in. Let's get rid of the semicolons and shift tab. Okay. Okay, content div is in here. So it should look exactly the same. It does. Now, the next thing is, so we have display flex, right? And also I need to change the flex direction. Now you're gonna see all of the items will align to the right. But another problem is the items change places. The bottom element gets drawn first. And there's the way to fix it is just by shifting these things around. It's that easy. And now you see it, 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 it kind of looks more like the designs now. Um, only thing that needs to be done is to align these elements to the right. And to do that, we're again, use, we are again going to use display um, flex and we're going to use exactly the same properties. So this is redundant and that's probably redundant as well. And flex direction, boom, done. That's it. And I also believe we can use justify, justify content um, and, okay, no, um, I need to take a look here again. Yeah, justify content and should have done the trick. I'm not sure why it doesn't do that though. Justify content and, well, it doesn't matter. This works and I'm going to, I'm basically going to use that. So if I inspect this, it still looks good. I just need to change the design to be responsive, if that makes sense. Okay. Now we are going to add some margins between the buttons and the text and make the text a bit, a bit smaller, like 500 pixels maybe. And let's add some padding, right? No, actually not padding, margin, right? Let's go with 100 pixels. Okay. And as for the images or the image div, actually, um, we are going to add a margin right to this thing. Uh, let's go with 20 pixels for now. Actually, let's go with 40 pixels because that's probably gonna look more like the designs. Let me take a look at the designs again. Yep, that is more accurate, I'd say. And let's add some paddings between, um, let's add some paddings on uh, between these elements, right? These paddings, um, I mean, the paddings on the vertical axes. Oof. Okay, so how could we do that? I guess we can, yeah, we're just gonna do the content. So we're gonna, we're gonna assign some margin top. Let's go 20 pixels and margin bottom. 20 pixels again. Okay, that gives us some space and let's go 30 because I believe that's more, yeah, that, that looks more like the designs. Okay, there are two problem. There's one more problem. Um, this test is not centered. So let me show you what I mean by that. If I duplicate this text, let's go back to the JSON. Let's, I'll just paste it here. 
let's go back to the website um, as you can see this text should be down here centered right next to the content but it's at the top and I remember you can do that using flex you can do something like align item center I'm not sure if that's gonna work but we can give it a tr we can give it a try um, okay well first try it works good job <laughs> I guess um, now that now that it solves this problem we're gonna do one more thing as I'm not sure if you notice but this is not really centered there's more space to the top of this than compared to the bottom of it and I think that's because we have some paddings in the bottom of this paragraph yeah there is there you go um, we have to set the paddings for this paragraph um, sorry not the paddings the margins at the bottom of this paragraph to be zero so it so it becomes evenly centered this front end or every other um, image that you see in here so this description I'm just going to remove the duplicated string that I just put okay let's go back to image experience so if you're going to modify the, the this description thingy in here uh, we're going to say margin bottom and zero pixels and as you can see it looks perfectly centered now I think I'm gonna add some more margins between them I just want this to look as clean as possible as much as the designs as possible um, I guess I'm gonna go with 450 uh, and this one's gonna be 150 okay that looks better that looks way better this looks very clean okay good job what's next well um, I guess I can just finish um, I guess I can finish this stream in here and in the next one we are going to be talking about how we're going to make this responsive uh, we're going to use the custom width picker that I've introduced several months or days or streams back um, and yeah we're pretty much going to improve the design from now on and after this is done I'm probably going to work on the project section We'll see how it goes, but thank you for joining the stream. I'm not going to keep it that long. Um, this is what we're working on now. And in the next one, we're going to make this one responsive and we're going to make it look nice on mobile as well. I still need to design, design a version that looks good on mobile. I haven't designed that part yet, so I'll do that and then I'll come back. Okay, thank you for joining and I'll see you later. Bye.